Here I'm going to create an ordered stem and leaf plot for some data. The data is weights of dogs in a kennel in pounds. Now, when we create a stem and leaf plot, we want to let the largest place values here be represented by what's called the stem. That is this vertical listing of digits. Uh, so in the number 10, uh, what we'll do is we'll figure that the one part of it can be represented by the stem. And then we can put the zero in the ones place. We'll just put that over here. And then when you put the one of the stem together with the zero, they make the entry 10. Now similarly here where we have the number 12, we want the one to be represented by the stem. And then we take that ones place digit and we just put it right here as part of what's called a leaf. What it allows us to do is to condense our data into a smaller representation, but still convey the same amount of information. Let's try it for the 21. The two in the tens place will be here in our stem. And we just have to put a one to represent the number 21. Then we'll do the 24 and the 27. It'll look like this. All right, I'm gonna go down the list here and just uh, represent all the data. We're gonna have 32, 37, and 38. We'll have 41, 45, 45, 49. Then we'll have 50 and 57 and 59. 62, 65. I see there are no 70s, so we'll skip that. We have 82, no 90s. And then we have 100. And this part of it is going to be on our stem right here. That's the 10, uh, which represents the first one and zero there. So we just have to put a zero and that's gonna be the number 100. And 108 will be represented like this. Each sequence here that's attached to our stem is considered a leaf in the representation.